Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this is the second last week of September technically and there is no notification regarding CSR net exam. Uh, we don't know that exactly when the CSR net exam is going to help and there is no tweet regarding it. There is no uh, official notice regarding it. There is nothing because we don't have any clue about it, right? That's what basically the scenario is. And the thing is that CSIR, the last tweet which CSIR did regarding the exam is like they don't want to, like they are not going to take the exam unless and until the pandemic situation stabilizes. That's what they said in the tweet. Uh, if you see the current situation of the country, if you see the current situation of all the other examination, if you see the current situation of all the events happening all over the country and all over the places around it, you will find out that everything is getting normalized, right? Uh, people are getting married, people are like giving exams, like there is NEET, there is JE, which have like, I would say 10 times more candidates or 10, 10 times more aspirants uh, for them, like compared to CSR net exam. But still, they have given the exam quite comfortably and they are managing all the things, like NTA is managing all the things. And... Um, Regarding this CSIR, uh, they are not ready to take it. Uh, UGC also is going to conduct their exam, if you know UGC net. So they are going to conduct it in the month of October. So yeah, they also have uh, managed all the things. But CSIR seems to be uh, like having no clue how to do or, or how to uh, manage it till yet. Okay, There is no official notification regarding it. So uh, technically, the thing is that all the aspirants all the students who were preparing for CSI net exam, they are like in a kind of uh, like trapped over here in the situation. They don't know what to do next. Okay. And it's really disappointing, especially for person like me who is following this exam. And also to all those people who are connected to this exam or who were preparing for it or who were uh, like teaching for this for all of us, it's a disappointing situation because uh, like you know, if you see that when the last exam held, so it's approximately a year, uh, we don't have any CSI net exam and it's uh, really difficult for the aspirants itself because they are preparing for it day and night. They are giving their best. They are preparing so hard. And when the, uh, the, the exam authority or the someone who is, who is about or their responsibilities to conduct the exam, they're not conducting it. So basically it hurts, it disappoints and it gives a lot of frustration. I can totally understand. I used to talk to all my students. I get mails, I get messages, I get tweets, all those things regarding that when this exam is going to be. And uh, every time, everywhere, the answer from my side is that I don't have any idea as such because, yeah, we don't have any idea as such. So the thing is that up to what time or up to what time we can expect the exam? See, to be very honest, and if I will be little optimistic, I would say that the exam will be scheduled in the month of December. But there are also a lot of things are there now. The next question is that whether the seats will be increased, uh, whether they are going to merge 2021 June, 2021 December. Also, technically, they have not taken 2020 December exam. So are they going to merge all these three CSI net exam? Then in that case, they have to increase the seats three folds. We don't know okay, what CSI is going to do. We have no idea about it. And the thing which I've seen students, because see, when you are preparing for something and that is not happening or that is not being conducted, uh, they like everybody, like that's the human nature. People start finding out some alternative of it. And yes, people have done that. Like with GATE, they have started taking admission in different institutes or they have directly taken admission in many of the institutes which have their own entrance exams. I also keep posting about different uh, like internships, like uh, different research positions. So everybody has started finding out some alternative of it because this situation seems to be never ending for now. Okay, But uh, I am being a little bit optimistic over here and I will say that uh, we should wait for it a little bit more. Maybe at the end of September or at the, uh, or at the starting of October, we will get a notification regarding the upcoming exam and they should conduct the exam in the month of December actually okay otherwise it it, it would be really really very late uh, the thing is that yes uh, pandemic situation is not good in some cities or especially in some states of India but 
even that also like if we if we consider that also yet uh, they have conducted exam like national level exams have been conducted right i have already told about them neat je all those exams have been conducted so what's the problem with csa net exam i don't know so one thing which we can do okay so the video is not just to tell you about all these things because it's all about solutions right what we can do or what are the alternatives what else we can do for it so the first thing is that we can tweet regarding it uh, see the number of students are less so it's not something that we can get into the trending page or we can make some hashtag trending that is not going to happen so we have to be little objective over here we should know that yes uh, these number aspirants are not there that it can go to the trending page and all though so that's a different thing we don't want to make it trending but yet uh, individually we all can tweet regarding it and we can tag csir okay so there are different handles of csir uh, i'll post i'll give you the those on the screen so you can just tag them uh, and making a particular tweet okay same tweets i'm not telling you to make same tweets you can write your own tweet okay or you can retweet somebody else but uh, make sure that you tweet about it now uh, i don't know how much this is going to impact but in the modern world in the modern digital world where things have been heard through twitter and we have to be optimistic regarding it and yeah like fine we can try this right so that's one thing which we can do regarding exam the second thing is regarding preparation so i'm not going to tell how to start preparation or something because you might have already started and you might know how to do that right apart from preparation and apart from the exam there are various other things which you can do to develop yourself okay as a personality as a person as a, uh, you know as a research scholar you can grow yourself you can improve yourself and these things comes under skill development okay so there are i have been talking about this uh, since long i have made a lot of videos i have discussed about it in a lot of my free classes so again i am going to tell you that there are certain skills which you can develop uh, within this time and you can actually learn some things some softwares or some programming languages or there are various things okay that you can learn actually and you can add up in your profile you can you can grow as a person over there those things will not be directly included in your you know in the research field but they will indirectly help you for example if you learn a particular uh, programming language let's say you learn a python language then that python language is going to help you if in future you are planning to do something related to computational chemistry or let's say if you if you don't want to go in computational chemistry still if you are in core organic synthesis but if you are collaborating with someone who is doing the computational work for you you will be able to understand that what that person has done so that becomes important that you can do right and there are various pl free platforms for that you can check them out there are other softwares we i have already discussed i have actually made a video on this uh, and you can just uh, like watch that out i'll give you in the i button you can click and watch the important softwares which you can learn uh, so that they can help you to in your research career right uh, if you guys will suggest me or if you guys will uh, show some interest i will plan to make some tutorial videos on some of the softwares uh, that will be helpful i guess and on the channel if i'll post Uh, maybe it will reach out to most number of uh, aspirants and people who are preparing for the exam and those who want to learn actually so i just want to see that how many of you are interested in that uh, i'll give you a poll also regarding that in the community tab soon so please uh, make sure to participate in that poll and yeah uh, if you have any other suggestion you can just drop down in the comment sections below also so these are certain things there is one more field which recently i have explored and that is scientific illustrator okay so if you are good in drawing okay i'll talk about this scientific illustration and all if you guys are interested i'll i just want to see that how many people are interested regarding scientific illustration it's nothing but uh, showing your scientific knowledge or showing your scientific ideas in the form of illustrations illustrations are simple drawings which can they don't have that much details but yet just by simple drawing you can show that what is happening inside it Uh, i have recently drawn few of the scientific illustrations i'll show you uh, you can see on the screen right now so these are some of the illustrations which i have drawn recently actually i have joined a, a workshop in that i learned these things so yeah uh, if you guys are interested i can uh, talk about this illustrations more uh, in a particular video if you guys will show some interest in it so this is also one of the field in which you can uh, you can learn if you are good at art or if you are good at Uh, imagining things if you are good at representing things 
uh, then in that case this scientific illustration is a good uh, area to explore although the the uh, you know the the scope of this scientific illustration is not that much in india still like it ha it is a emerging field people have now started uh, like collaborating with different scientific illustrators to uh, illustrate for their research papers but this is a emerging field in coming 5 or 10 years this thing uh, or this particular field will be uh, really very like very vast and people will be very much oriented towards it especially those who uh, have knowledge of art and science both collaborated so yeah there are various things which you can do so apart from your preparation apart from uh, the waiting of the exam uh, this is something which you have to do you have to develop your own skill you have to utilize this time in such a way that when the exam will be held and whenever you are going to join as a research scholar wherever wherever you you are going for that or wherever you are going to give interview for phd the first question which they are going to ask you that what you did during the lockdown time or what you did during the pandemic time during the year 2020 and 2021 so you should have something to tell them that yes i have learned these things i have uh, like attained these skills now skill is something which does not require soft uh, like a certificate if if you get a certificate that's well and good but if you are uh, have a particular skill and you can like you know that thing now that is also acceptable so it's not like that always you have to join some uh, some workshop or some uh, seminar to get some certificate of that uh, that particular skill it's like sometimes you are interested in a particular skill so that you learn it out of your curiosity and curiosity does not have a certificate but your work uh, like speaks a lot so this is what is all about so csir is not doing their work they are being irresponsible to be very frank right now and uh, they have left all the aspirants in a particular trap everybody is like have don't they don't have any clue about it but yeah as i said skill development is going to help you right now in this particular time uh, learning new skills uh, and reaching out and like trying to learn new things that is going to help you in the upcoming days so try to do that if you have any questions regarding it you can drop down in the comment sections below and do let me know how many of you are interested regarding some tutorial videos uh, regarding those softwares and also regarding that scientific illustration so i'll make a separate video on those things all right so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye